The night sky above Manhattan will never win any awards. A few stars visible looked lonely and desperate. I could relate. Sometimes the line between salvation and damnation is a mighty fine one. I no longer knew which side I stood on. There are those who would say that I had no business being here. They might be right. I'm no longer sure what I'm doing. But I'm fairly sure I know who I am. And welcome everyone, welcome to The Shiva. This is a game brought to you by Wajirai, which have created amazing games such as Primordia and the Blackwell series, which I'm a really, really big fan of, and my Let's Play them as well, seeing that a new one is going to come up really soon, actually. This year, I think. But let's get on with The Shiva. This should be a pretty interesting adventure game. Let's see what it's about. It began, as many things do, with a song. His final note faded off into the near-empty synagogue, unheard by anyone. As I had hundreds of times before this, I got ready to speak. And, as I had hundreds of times before this, I began to wonder why. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Canter Kaplan. Today in my sermon, I'd like to discuss suffering. Why do bad things happen to good people? I'm already suffering. Wherever there is pain, or oppression, or poverty, the question is always the same. This music is depressing. How could God let this happen? How? Is God as good as we think? Can he, in fact, do evil? Maybe, on occasion, he even enjoys inflicting <clears throat> pain. Not I... impressed. I took a good, hard look around my world. I... I quit. And then it hit me. No. No. I can't do this. Go away. I'm sorry. Rabbi? You heard. Huh? What? Go home, Mrs. Raymer. Is it over already? Yeah. Rabbi Stone, wait! You can't just stop. Yes, I can. Sure I can. Just watch me. But... It's over, Josh. You can't mean that. It's over between Look, us, you're Josh. you a good kid. You've got a good voice and a good future. Don't let me hold you back. Now do a mitzvah and call Mrs. Raymer a cab. I... Goodbye, Josh. Goodbye. It was a wonderful dream, but we can't be together anymore. Nice place. Holy shit. Ethical dilemmas have plagued religious leaders since the dawn of time. But morals don't mean crap without the personal experiences to back them up. Go away! Hmm. As you can see, this is the um, newer version, the kosher version, which has updated graphics and music, and it looks absolutely lovely. The game was released in about 2006, and it was just re-released last year, and it looks amazing. But people are knocking at our door, so um, what, what do you want? Leave me alone. Leave us alone. Leave the rabbi alone. Uh, state the obvious. Services are cancelled. Obviously. Services are cancelled. I repeat, services are cancelled. Oh my god. They're so persistent. Fine, I'm coming. No. Go, go to the door. Who is it? I thought I told you to go home. It's over between us. By stone, there's someone here. Tell him to get lost. There's no service tonight. No, it's a, a cop. Uh oh. Huh? The fuzz. The fuzz is here. Detective Sam Durkin. Durkin. Midtown South Precinct. Could I talk to you for a few minutes, Rabbi Stone? Detective Sam Durkin. Durkin. Uh, poker face. Sure thing. Thank you. Fine. 
Fine. Josh, take a hike. <laughs> take a hike, Josh. So, what can I do for you? I assume you're not here to convert. Are you familiar with a Mr. Jack Lauder? Lauder. Should I be? I'm asking the questions, Rabbi. Fine. Let me think. Lauder. 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 Oh. Lauder. You know him? Yeah. What can you tell me about him? His name's Lauder. He used to belong to this congregation. Used to. But not anymore? No. Left about eight years ago, I think. What's this about? Have you had any contact with him since? No, I haven't. Care to fill me in here? He broke my heart. Do you read the papers? Uh, no. I don't read the papers. Right? Uh, rabbinical response. Yeah, let's be all, uh, all, uh, annoying up his ass. Who has the time? <coughs> so, you're not aware, Rabbi Stone, that Jack Stone. has been dead for three days. I did my best to control myself. I knew this man's type. His a his eyes scanned my face like a barcode reader, trying to read every telltale sign of emotion. Any flicker, any twitch could be used against me later. No. Does no. that bother you? Should it? Answer me, Stone. Stone. No. So you and Mr. Lauder weren't close. No, we weren't. What's the deal, Durkin? I've seen Lauder's will. Okay. He left you a significant amount of money. Did he? Ah. Oh. Um, I'm not sure what deadpan means, so I'm gonna go with, um, poker face again. He left me money? Is this a joke? Are you joking with me, detective? Joking with me? No, I'm not joking. How much? I don't have the exact amount, but somewhere in excess of 10,000. Holy shit! Bull. It's the truth. Jack wouldn't give me bubkiss, let alone $10,000. And why is that, Rabbi Stone? Uh. He just wouldn't. Huh. Hmm. You don't have the expression that I wanted to. You're kind of coming off a bit suspicious. This temple's in pretty sad shape, isn't it, Rabbi? What, what do you mean by well, that? You're not blind, that's for sure. Can you afford the repairs? I... I can afford the repairs. What are you on about? Uh... For br br brush off? Is that okay? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, that about, wasn't. Oh, Durkin. that's not good. And if that's all, I suggest you leave. Rabbi Stone, you didn't answer my question. Life's full of disappointments. You'll get over it. Rabbi Stone. Stone. Get out of my office. Get listen. out of my office. No, you listen. I know where this is going, and I don't like it. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're a real mensch. Get out of here. Fine. I'll leave, Rabbi Stone. But I'll be back. Yeah, I bet you will. I get the impression that the detective doesn't really like us very, very much. Putts. Putts. The rain beat an irregular staccato rhythm against the window. I could hear only one thing. Jack Lauder. Jack Lauder. The name pulled out a cork in my brain, letting loose old thoughts and memories that fought and struggled for supremacy. Jack Lauder. It was more than just a name. It was a link to a time when things were simpler. A time when I thought I had it all figured out. A time when morals and ethics meant something. A time before it all turned to crap. Crap. I need to think. I need to drink. Okay, we can finally explore. I guess we're on the quest for booze for the rabbi. He needs he need, he really needs to unwind. Move your mouse to the top of the screen. Okay, inventory. Oh nice. We have a business card. Rabbi Russell Stone. Nice. Oh and we're in New York. And he's depressed. Poor guy. The window afforded me a thrilling view of the deli across the street. We should get some food. God, I'm hungry. Josh picked his computer up at the local yard sale. He said it would revolutionize my life. Hasn't happened yet. Well, it's gonna happen soon. A computer pretty much revolutionized my life. From, from the tender young, young age of four. Let's, let's play some games. 
I needed to join the 21st century. Fair enough. Yep, this is a good time as any. We find out there's a murder murder, and we start playing games of games. If only I could remember what Joss chose as my, as my login password. Ah, fuck. We have a password already? Oh, uh, is it our name? What was it? Russell? No. Stone. No stone. We're gonna find out. Man, that's a slow computer. Rabbi Russell Stone. Was it our full name? Russell Stone. Well, I guess he didn't choose the worst password in the world. Well, let's find some clues for booze and passwords. What else do we have in here? Photograph. A color photograph of Bnai Ben Zion's youth group picnic. Over 15 years ago taken, most of the kids probably had families of their own. Yeah, this game is pretty depressing already. But, I don't know, I just love Wadget Eye. They make such good games. My collection of rabbinical texts... Uh, texts, books, okay. Look in the boxes. There's always stuff in the boxes. No, don't climb on the boxes. Look in the boxes. Baxes. As much as I would have loved to break open a bottle of kiddish wine, I didn't think it was appropriate. What better time is there? It's perfect! You were- you said you never wanted something to drink. What's here? Crawl space. Hmm. Nothing up there. Posters. It was fine where it was. I had come across this quote some years ago. Oh no. Oh, it's looking at- ugh, too much text. Just pause the video if you want to read it. It's probably just some wise words. My certification of rabbinical studies. Okay, 1970. Okay, so we're probably in the 90s? I think? My diploma... Has it really been 30 years? Yeah, time flies when you're having religious fun, I guess. Small supply of wine. Okay, can we take something from the bookshelf? Nothing on the bookshelf. Alright. What the hell is my password? Is Josh still here? Do you know my password, lover? Lover boy? Wow, Rabbi. What was that all about? Who is that all about? I don't like you already. I'm so happy I broke broke it off with you. But let's be truthful. He's He seems pretty innocent. The detective had some questions for me. That's all. So who was killed? Josh, what did I tell you about listening at my door? <laughs> I thought Josh I was, wasn't, was Rabbi, killed. <laughs> honest. You were just... very loud. <laughs> so who was killed? Was it that Lauder guy? Lauder guy? Yeah. It was Lauder. It was, uh... How do you know that name? Well, I heard you. <laughs> you must have talked very loud. Well, yeah. So who is he? An old member of this congregation. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, well, it happens to the best of us. Are you gonna pay a shiva call? I don't think there will be a shiva, Josh. Why? Shivas are for Jewish families. Just forget it. Alright, if that's what you want. I guess I'll go now. No, no, tell me yeah. the password. Good night, Cantor. Night, Rabbi. No orders, come back, Josh, I need you, I love you. Damn it. Hmm, where's that password? $10,000. That's a lot of molly woly. Less than 20 minutes ago, I had accepted defeat. The bank was going to foreclose the property, and there was nothing I could do. Jack's money changed all that. The Benai Ben Zion synagogue remained open. I wouldn't have to see my life's work turned into a shopping mall or a parking lot. Has God answered my prayers? I'm not sure. The age-old question. What is the work of God? And what is the work of man? The money was a boon. There was no doubt about that. Bad, 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 bad. It was blood money. Blood money. I don't like it. But you want it. You want that money. Not one bit. Why, Jack? Why, Why Jack? Me? Why, Jack? Why now? Why now? They say God helps those who help themselves. 
and I had done absolutely nothing to get this money. I didn't trust it. Suddenly, the cantor's words came back to me. A shiva call. Maybe? I can't just barge in unannounced. But I can pay a shiva call. It's the only way. It's the only way. Right click and hold to show all items on the screen. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. So it shows what you can interact with. Fair enough. I don't see any phone, though. I don't know how shiva calls work. Papers. 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 Just bills. Yep. What I was gonna do with them? Pay them? Well, that'd be nice. But we need to get the money first. From our dearly departed old buddy. What is the password? Uh, where the Jew where Jews connect. Wow, that's an amazing slogan. So what could be the password? A. Laudner. No. Could the password be Jack Lauder? It's not Laudner, it's Lauder, actually. Jack Lauder. No. Hmm. Well, I will figure the damn password out in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you like this game. It's, uh, it's a bit more serious than what I normally do, but it's Wajirai and I love him. See you next time.